starting to give a bit. I think I'm gonna pick it. Oh, it doesn't really wanna come off. Put some sap. So it is part of the jackfruit family, or the coppice family, so it has a latexy sap just like them. I had a couple of these ripe recently, but birds or possums got to them before me. So I'm going to pick this one and let it ripe it on my counter for a couple days. Kwai Mok. I'm very excited. I have never tried this fruit before. Okay guys, so it's been four days since I picked this, the Kwai Mok. Um, here, get a close up on it. So, um, the colors have all changed to this beautiful bright orange, almost a dark orange color. Um, it's still quite firm, it's got a little bit of give to it. It doesn't have much of a scent, the scent is almost nothing really you have to like really sniff on it um, to get anything it is part of it is part of the breadfruit and jackfruit family autocarpus hypogyrius um, and if you come closer again so you can see there's these little dots which is similar markings that um, a jackfruit or a breadfruit would have um, this is smooth, you can't feel anything, but you can, you know, obviously it resembles it being in the similar family. Um, the texture of it is sort of like a more smoother peach. It's a little, it's got a little, I don't know how to explain that. Like felt, I suppose, a little bit velvety. Um, yeah, so they're supposed to not have that much of a great shelf life. Um, but this is four days and it seems perfectly fine, hopefully. So I've never tasted this fruit, so I'm gonna cut it open and um, yeah, give it a taste. I think I might tear it actually, because that's what I've seen people do. Okay, that's not really working. Maybe I should cut it. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm cutting it. <laughs> Plan B. <laughs> Ooh. So it does have a core in the center, just like a breadfruit. And actually, you can see the fibers there. This definitely resembles more of a breadfruit to me than a jackfruit. I think I cut right through the seed actually. Yeah, that's a seed right there. Anyway, I'll give it a taste. You can eat the skin on these. Mmm. Oh my goodness. that flavor okay so there's a seed there oh I know this flavor I just can't really pick it it's a smooth seed size of a lemon seed I suppose hang on a second let me have another bite of this so I can try and remember what this flavor tastes like Pamelo. Pamelo. Okay, there. It's Pamelo. It's definitely got some citrus, a lot of citrus notes actually. It's quite tangy. Almost, um, 
almost like fizzy, you know, like when fruit start to ferment after they get the, like overripe. It's so yum. It's so unusual. So the size of the fruits stay around that size, just a little bit bigger than a golf ball. They won't get to the size of a tennis ball. Okay, I'm definitely going to keep a better eye out for these, making sure the possums and the birds don't get them before me. That is delicious. Um, so, very easy to grow. Um, they're quite hardy as well. They say that they're subtropic, subtropical, tropical tree, but um, mine handled a little bit of frost that we've had recently last year recently not this year um and if you just pan over there you see it and yeah it didn't lose it any leaves over winter let me show you. <laughs> and um it's had tiny baby fruit growing on and off for the past like six months. So I think the fruiting set is gonna be quite long once it actually establishes and get a little bit bigger. So the first fruit, um, it was about six months ago, I'd say. And um, just before summer, when um, I was about to pick them and then birds or possums or something got them before me. So this is the first one that I've ever picked. Um, I'd say the tree is about four years old so it's been in ground for one year and um, I purchased it two, two years ago and it was about uh, maybe 800, 900 off the ground. So yeah, I reckon it's about four years old. Okay guys, so it's getting too dark at the moment. Um, this is the core, I'll just put it back together. You can see it is quite fibrous. I've got a tiny bit stuck in my teeth. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm really surprised with this. I knew I would like this fruit when I heard someone said that it's quite sour with a little sweetness and tang to it. Um, so these are the seeds. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seeds. Um, they came in little um, pods, really, just like a jackfruit. So you have your jackfruit nuggets, right? And then inside of the seeds, very similar thing. Obviously the taste is not like jackfruit. Um, definitely more, I'd say pomelo, grapefruit, um, maybe even a little bit of star fruit, carambola, and um, peach, all mixed to one. So yeah, great for drinks, great for salads, great for juicing, or even cocktails actually. Climb up.